Hi guys! I'm so excited about this right now. I have a Makeup Geek haul and uh, Makeup Geek is an independent uh, makeup brand that was started here on YouTube and I've seen like a bazillion reviews and hauls of her eyeshadows and I finally decided to try some. So I'm really really excited to share this with you. Uh, I did have to wait for the order and it was no fault of Makeup Geek. Just for some reason I moved recently and I don't know, the post office got confused and the, the package didn't get to me. But I finally got it and it was so worth the wait. I'm just so excited. So the way it works is that you get um, you get the option to order just the little eyeshadow pans that come in these little envelopes like this. And they're only $6.99. So it's such a good value uh, for the eyeshadows. And um, I've already tried them. They're great. I have some of them on today. Uh, so yeah, let me just show you the shades that I picked out. So I have them all in a Sephora Z palette. They are already magnetized, so it's really easy if you have a Z palette or if you just want to grab one. The, the palette itself, the one I have is $18. I think you can get them independently directly from Z palette for perhaps cheaper than that. You can also get them on the Makeup Geek site. And you can also get some colors in compact, so if you'd prefer to get them in their own little cases, you can do it that way too. But I love this option of just getting the pans because you save because you're not paying for the packaging. And I know, you know, a lot of us who have a lot of eyeshadow, we end up depotting anyway and putting together our own palettes. So it's, um, it's just a really great option. But these are the colors that I chose. So I'll go through one by one and swatch them for you. So this color is Country Girl. This is a reddish color with a little bit of sparkle to it. So that is Country Girl. This one is Cinderella. This is a really beautiful pinky champagne color. I feel like I'm going to use this all, all the time. So that's Cinderella. And then I got, I wanted to get a highlighter shade so that I could use this, these palette, you know, this as its own palette and not have to bring in anything else. So this is Vanilla Bean. And that's not really going to show up on my skin tone because it's so close to my skin tone, but that's Vanilla Bean. It's just a great highlight shade. So those were my three that I got sort of in the mind of using them as a trio, and I have, and they're really easy to use together. So that's Vanilla Bean, Cinderella, and Country Girl. Then I got this color, which is Hipster, and this is a cool color. It's sort of like an olive green type color, and it shows up pretty much matte, so I feel like this is going to be a really great um, kind of transition crease shade. Then this is Unexpected which is sort of a grayed lavender. Once again, it's a matte color and I think a really great um, kind of crease transition shade. So that's unexpected. And those two, Hipster and Unexpected, I was drawn to just because I feel like um, I really love to use bright colors like pinks and greens and um, bright coppery shades and it can be so difficult to find transition shades that work with them that aren't just like taupe. So I thought that these were two kind of like two sort of really helpful shades that have their own uniqueness and dimension to them. And yeah, I like them. 
And then finally, my favorite, which was, you know, I wanted to get all the brightest colors, but I knew that, you know, I can't just use all bright colors every single day. But I did get one. This is Pixie Dust, and it is so cool. I have it on right now. And it's just a beautiful, bright green color. It's so cool. And this is super pigmented. I mean, for how light of a color it is and, and neon, one swipe and you get great pigmentation out of that. It's like perfect when you first apply it to your eye. So that is my Makeup Geek haul. Let me swatch them all together so that they're all in one place. Unexpected is the one that I'm having the most trouble with. Um, in terms of getting a good swatch, but the other ones are all swatching really, really beautifully and easily. So here they are swatched out one more time. Maybe you can see a little clearer here. So uh, this is Country Girl, Cinderella, Vanilla Bean, Pixie Dust, Hipster, and Unexpected. So, so far I've been having so much fun playing around with these. I haven't worn them a whole bunch, so I'm not sure, you know, how they wear long term and all those kind of things, but I do know that they all swatch beautifully. They performed really well. Like, I felt like I got a lot of impact right away, but it was easy to blend them. And I'm just excited about these colors. I feel like these are really useful colors and unique to my collection. So I definitely recommend checking out Makeup Geek if you have not already. And thank you so much for watching this haul. Bye guys!